come up with this idea about a week or so ago. It's funny, I get these ideas in the middle of the night or real early in the morning, actually. I got to thinking, you know, because this, now listen, there's the little guy off. Listen to what he sounds like. Hear the volume? Master Luthier, his name is Robert, and rather than uh, screw up his last name because I haven't said it enough times, so I was going to call it Robert. But I had I took him I took this down to him with the Strato Blaster. This is what I said. I said Robert, this is what I would like to have done. He goes okay. He says uh, let me take a look at. It. He takes a look at. It. He goes. He goes humble. This is going to be quite a job. You want it to look exactly like it does, but you don't want any switches on the front? I said, no, no switches. I said, I want to switch right here. I want to lift this up to push this down. Can it be done? Yeah, yeah, I could do that for you. In fact, I got the switches, he says. You do? Yes. And it looked just like, yes, but this little strato blaster comes with its own. He says, watch. I got the very same plug-in as I had to start with, push this little red thing down and pull it out. Otherwise, it don't come out. No tripping over the cord. It's identical to the way it was before, except it's got whoop ass. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, it's, it, it plays and sounds. Now, you guys hear any buzzing? No, you don't hear any buzzing. I don't know what, what was the buzzing, but the buzzing is history. I think it was coming from the pole or something out front. We had a power outage today, and when they put it back together, there's no no buzzing and nothing. I got all the stuff on just like I always I have had before, and it sounds nasty. Doesn't sound nasty now. Oh, a little sweetheart. And once we dug into the back, and he showed me how he put the little board in, and he did a fabulous job. I didn't know it had a little adjustment screw in the center. You rascal that up a ways. Hoo hoo! This is about half whoop ass. There's another half of the whoop ass, but it's it's so ridiculous if you go from playing it like this, just normal. <laughs> obnoxious the, the amount it also leaps up I guess you could roll the um, volume back and then leap it up so it would kind of blend but what if you forgot it would be obnoxiously loud so I am so thrilled this fellow did such an outstanding job and he quoted me a price of $80 and it took it was a really hard job and I took my uh, the flying V in, and he took a look at that because I had been three days monkeying with that thing. I wired the jack backwards, so I made an antenna out of the guitar. No wonder it sounded like shit. He fixed it. He wasn't going to charge me nothing. I said, here, I want to pay you a little something because you did a great job. And he did a great job. He really did. So, guys, hope you like this one. Don't ever be afraid to get a, a, a Lembic Strato Blaster. Don't be afraid to. They're a fabulous product. Yeah, they're a little pricey, but they're a ton of, just totally worth it in every possible way. And if you're not sharp on putting it in, find somebody who's really good at it, and uh, you'll be thrilled. This thing is fabulous. It is, that's what it's always needed, guys. It's always needed it. Hope you like that. Bye-bye now.